Arc faults are extremely dangerous because they generally occur in wiring that is behind drywall or in attics, going undetected until a fire breaks out. Currently, AFCI protection devices only monitor and protect branch circuits in the home against arc faults. Although the industry-exclusive LEDs on the Siemens combination type AFCIs can help point an electrician in the right direction for troubleshooting, these AFCIs do not help to pinpoint the portion of the branch circuit that contains the fault. When used in conjunction with good troubleshooting techniques, the Siemens IntelliArc Diagnostic Tool allows the electrical contractor to determine and locate the root cause or source of the fault. This video will show you how to install and use the Siemens IntelliArc Diagnostic Tool to help accurately diagnose a circuit in which a fault has occurred. The IntelliArc Diagnostic Tool improves troubleshooting accuracy, reduces the number of visits to the problem site, and can be used with any circuit breaker regardless of brand. Arc faults are often intermittent, which can make troubleshooting a branch circuit very difficult. In these cases, it is important to determine whether the fault condition exists in the permanent wiring, in connected equipment, or in a power cord. The IntelliArc Diagnostic Tool presents information as to the type and magnitude of fault. Since the fault may not cause an AFCI to trip for various reasons, for example the duration is too short, current level is too low, the tool provides an indication showing how close an event is to causing an AFCI to trip. The IntelliArc Diagnostic Tool is made up of two parts, a handheld device and a base unit that links to the load center in a home. Let's start by connecting the base unit into the breaker on the suspected branch circuit. Move the handle of the breaker on the circuit to be analyzed to the off position. Remove the load side, hot and neutral wires from the breaker of the branch circuit to be tested. For AFCI protected circuits, the panel board neutral or pigtail wire must remain connected to the panel neutral bar. Connect the arc fault diagnostic tool base unit. The base unit of the diagnostic tool draws power from the power line. No batteries are used in this device. Each connection between the arc fault diagnostic tool and the circuit breaker must have a minimum length of 4 feet. Strip insulation of wires should be limited to a length of 3 8 inch. Check the arc fault diagnostic tool base unit label stripping guide. Ensure that wire connectors are properly torqued to 25 pound inches. Do not over torque. Before taking you through the operating instructions, let's look at the LED test procedure which should be performed before operating the handheld device. Turn off the handheld device. Press and hold the clear button on the handheld device. Press the power button on the handheld device while continuing to hold the clear button. The LED columns will light up one by one and each top LED will remain on so long as the clear button is pressed. If any LED fails to illuminate during the procedure, then the handheld device must be replaced. Once the clear button is released, the top LEDs will clear and the handheld is ready for operation. Three sets of LED indicators are provided on the handheld device for use in troubleshooting branch circuit issues. These three indications give information regarding current, amps, ground fault level, GF, and arc fault level, AF. Current is marked as amps. The full-scale reading for this LED indicates 20 or more amps. LED indicators do not increase by uniform intervals. The 5 amps point is marked on handheld device for reference. Ground fault is marked as GF. The full-scale reading for this LED indicates 50 or more milliamps. Arc fault is marked as AF. This LED indication does not display in reference to current level, but rather in severity of events, with a full-scale reading, red LEDs, representing an event that is very likely to cause an AFCI device to trip. Partial readings, yellow LEDs, may or may not be suspect issues to evaluate. Transitional events, for example, turning on an appliance, are likely to register as some low level on the arc fault scale.
While exercising caution, turn on the breaker supplying power to the branch circuit under evaluation. Turn on the handheld device. The communication LED will start blinking after the handheld establishes communication with the base unit. The LED will continue blinking as long as the handheld device maintains communication. Energize and then de-energize loads one by one on the branch circuit being evaluated, observing the LED indications on the handheld device after each load is energized and de-energized. The GF and AF LEDs will lock in the top red position when any event causes the device to read maximum levels, even if the event ceases to exist. You must press the clear button to continue evaluation of the branch circuit. To test another branch circuit, repeat this procedure. For example, a homeowner calls her electrician because sometimes when she vacuums in her living room, the circuit breaker trips. Using the diagnostic tool, the electrician checks individual loads in the room. When he checks one of the lamps, the tool indicates moderate arcing. The electrician then turns off the lamp and plugs the vacuum cleaner into the same circuit. The tool now shows that the circuit is functioning normally. He then turns the lamp back on. Now when he turns on the vacuum cleaner, the breaker trips and the tool indicates an arc fault. By using good troubleshooting techniques along with the diagnostic tool, the contractor has discovered that the problem is not the vacuum cleaner, but the lamp. As you can see, the diagnostic tool can save you valuable time troubleshooting. When you are finished testing, turn off and lock out the power supplying the device before removing base unit. Always remove the arc fault diagnostic tool base. Restore all branch circuit connections and close the cover when testing is complete. Few building trades do as much to protect the American public as electrical contractors, and AFCIs are important tools in the electrician's safety arsenal. Diagnosing the cause of AFCI trips can be confusing, but the IntelliArc diagnostic tool and the patented trip indicators built into every Siemens AFCI are valuable analysis tools to help electricians pinpoint the faults that cause breakers to trip. With a 160-year history of engineering and innovation, Siemens continuously strives to develop products that provide increased levels of safety. The IntelliArc Diagnostic Tool is an example of Siemens' commitment to provide our customers with the most advanced technology in home electrical safety.